Suburbs across our area are reacting as migrants in buses are being dropped off unannounced. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is in Aurora where a bus just passed through. Sabrina, where did all those migrants go? Over 40 people were on that bus and immediately boarded a train to Chicago. That is the directive by the city of Aurora. The city of Aurora says that's not just their decision, but when they asked migrants where they would like to go, they say asylum seekers told them Chicago was their final destination. All of this after the city just passed an ordinance to target rogue bus operators dropping migrants off without notice and other suburbs around the Chicagoland area are doing the same. Wearing nothing but pajamas and sweatpants, children, families, adults file out of a bus and onto a metro train to Chicago. Thankfully, one of our employees was able to see this charter bus. The tickets were purchased, and that's how we ended up being notified um, just by the quick action and notification. So we ensure that they are getting on the train to the services that they need. It happened about an hour after the city council passed an ordinance that would penalize bus owners, operators, drivers for not alerting the city at least five days before their arrival. Also, without filling out a form that explains who will be caring for migrants when they get here. We are going to forward folks because that's their final destination. To Chicago. Similar to the ordinance passed there, those operating the bus could be fined $1,000 per passenger on top of other fines. They could also face impoundment. Aurora is not in the position to be long-term care for anyone coming into the city. This was the sixth bus to end up in Aurora in just two days. Other buses are stopping in different suburbs. Migrants in Kankakee were dropped off on the side of the road at a gas station. Over 30 people lied to by the driver of that bus, who police say told the migrants they were in Chicago. A metro station in Lockport received about 30 migrants without notice this week. Those people were taken to Chicago. Same thing in Elburn. They welcomed 38 migrants, all who took Metra to the city. Tinley Park and University Park also plan to impose fines if bus operators don't register in advance. The village of Elburn plans to host a meeting to address those rogue buses early next week. The ordinance here in Aurora goes into effect immediately. We're in Aurora. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Four more buses carrying migrants are expected to arrive in Chicago today. Many of the migrants are coming here from El Paso, Texas. Since September of last year, the city of El Paso has sent 129 buses to Chicago. They're also busing migrants to New York, Denver, and Philadelphia. More than 16,000 migrants in all.